Hey, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We got a little gift basket from Warlord Games. I say gift basket, I bought it for them. But it's basically a gift to myself. Uh, it shipped yesterday from the UK and arrived in Canada today. So that is absolutely amazing service. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I tracked myself to the new 2000 AD game slain. Also picked up a few other goodies. We're going to quickly go through what I bought. But there'll be, as you could probably well imagine, a lot of unboxing videos coming up soon. Do apologize for my voice. I am still recovering from a head cold. But let's dive in. So I bought Judge Anderson. I don't own this yet, so I thought, damn it, I'm going to treat myself. I'm spending the money on shipping. Might as well do it with an Anderson on foot and one on a lore master. You get the two character cards. I assume it's Anderson and the Judge Dread bike, lore master bike. And we get side defenses and holding post cards. That's going to be its own unboxing and building. So expect to see that in the upcoming week. I also trap myself to some army painter wasteland tufts the little grassy bits i think i'm gonna mostly be using it on this slang project I want the bases to look a bit more fun than just some sand painted i think these will do nicely and the fun part i didn't go full hog um, it was very tempting to buy the complete bundle and all one go, but I felt that would put way too much pressure on me to try and paint it all, and it might actually dampen my excitement for the game. So I bought the stuff that really excited me. Personally, I was a big fan of Baylor in the comics when I've read 2000 AD, so I knew I wanted him. Which meant I knew I needed the Sea Devils. So this is Baylor of the Evil Eye. Giant riding a giant war elk. I'm so excited to open that one. I think he's gonna be absolutely cool and really fun to paint. I just I love the look of it. So cool. And then I got the, uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrong, but the Fomorian Warband. Which look so cool. The age-old enemy of the Earth tribes. Fomorians are a race of sea demons from the icy waters of Loch Lan to the north, led by the ferocious warriors, such as Baylor of the Evil Eye. And Moloch, who hopefully we'll get a model for as well. Uh, it looks like we get three demons with hooks and chains, three with harpoons, three with great axes. We also get a sea demon card and two feet fate feet cards. Ah, strong to talk. Look at them. They're so cool. Can't wait to crack it open. And then, of course, we have the limited edition slime. Some cleaning up needed, but he's looking pretty good. Um, I would say he's probably in the demon killer age of slime. So, I guess when he's time traveling. With uh, Boudicca, or Bodicea, depending on how you want to pronounce it. That's a great little model, can't wait to build him. And the big one, the box itself. This is a heavy box. It's got some weight. I've had the Strontium game and Judge Dredd. I think Judge Dredd came with the most figures so far. But this has the most weight. Um, as you can see, 
we all kind of know the layout now for Warlord games, but they're all the figures you get in this box, or a selection of them. They are now doing multi-language, which is great. Some artwork on that side. And I think that's slain Erko the Dwarf and uh, his wife, I forget her name. So, slain, kiss my axe. Is a skirmish tabletop miniature battle game for two or more players set in the fantasy world created by the legendary comic creators Pat Mills and Angela King Kinade. Axes and swords clash whilst earth and sour magic lash out across the land of the young as earth tribes of the goddess battle the decaying dream lords and the relentless Fulmarian sea demons. And slain take control of a small band of earth tribes, Rune or Fomorian warriors as they fight for glory and survival. That set contains everything you need to play. Yada yada yada. Uh, you get eight miniatures, so roughly the same amount of figures as uh, Strontium dogs. They're all done in Warlord resin with plastic bases. You get slain and slain in warp spasm. Nest, ah, so it's Nest, not his wife, uh, Ur Urko the Dwarf, Sloth Trot, Three Skull Swords, the Weird Stone, and the Dream Priest. We also get two Celtic Cuts, two Fences, 108 page full color A4 soft rule book, and an 8 page quick start guide. Four character cards, two unit cards, five hero fate cards, 13 normal cards, 18 boon cards with plastic game tokens, two six-sided spotted dice, and eight combat dice. I have my knife. Let's go. I am really excited. Um, I actually posted about this on the Facebook group yesterday, the fact that it arrived. And it seems like I managed to get it quicker than people in the UK, which I'm definitely not going to complain about. Oh, it's like a new box. Nothing on the inside. So that is a great looking box. On the edge, we've got. Judge Dread. Ooh. Some Earth Tribe sneak peek figures by the looks of things. I'm sure they're probably named characters. I just haven't read enough of the comics yet to know. The Dream Lords, which look cool. They've got some zombie esque characters. Some scary barbarians. And then the Sea Demons, which I got all them. That's great. Bases, we all know and love a base. The uh, six sided dice in the classic 2000 AD combat dice that we all know. Judge Dread Shield for defense. Blasty symbol for shooting. And then somewhere on here should be the 2000 AD special symbol. There we go. Be interesting to see. I assume that's going to be attacks or the tokens we all know and love. It's nice to see the gold ones again. Got some of them from the Judge Shred set. So that doubles up on that set. And we get some green. Look at that. So we now have uh, red, black, gold, and green. What's this one? A weird stone. Let's open him up. Look at that. That is a chunk of resin. Pretty clean. A bit of the edging that needs a little clean up. Give it a soak in some soapy water and we'll be good to paint. Then we got the characters. Not sure how I feel about them just being bubble wrap. Warp Spasm Slain, 
Just need to chop a little bit off his foot. And maybe his axe is a bit bendy. It's a pretty clean looking model. Um, I am a bit concerned about the axe. I'm going to try and heat it to straight it up, but I'm worried it might snap because it's a bit bendy. And I've had issues with figures breaking in the past, especially in the Judge Dredd line. He looks terrifying. Also ginormous. He's as big as the stone. Um, he is bigger than a clike. But he looks great. We've then got the uh, Droon Priest. Looking all suspicious. A little bit of flash on the bottom, but apart from that, he looks pretty good. Pretty clean. We then have another Dream Lord. Do a bit of cleaning up, maybe. Oh no, that's part of his headpiece. Oh, he's pretty clean. Little tiny bit on his head there. Very crisp details on the book, his hand. And if you can see the swirling rune that you get, it's going to be fun to paint. The skull sword. Whoop. A little bit of flash to clean off, but all that shield looks great. They're going to really take the contrast paints well. Uh, ooh, come back to him. Another skull sword. Hopefully I'm using the right names. I'm only two comics in for Slain. Uh, otherwise, all I know about them is from a short amount of comics of 2000 AV that I've read. Yeah, they look all great. No issues. Uh, Nest. Don't really, not sure who Nest is. She's got like a flaming torch. His dwarf companion, who, if I'm correct in thinking, has. Whoa, whoa, come on, on camera. A little build butt and Slain's axe, which looks very straight. That's great. And the main man himself. Looking very good. Very happy with the quality on these figures. <laughs> and we've got the cards. Uh, most of this looks very familiar. We have move. Not sure what that one stands for. Uh, fight, evade, defense, call, points. Maybe a range attack for that. I'll have a read. Nice bit of artwork on the back here. Tells us that he is a hero type. Defender of the earth tribes and chosen of Danu. Then he's got his dwarf. <laughs> One of his skills is coward. And that he is annoying. Then we get Nest. Druid in training. Capable dragon trainer. That sounds good. Sloth. Frot. Champion of Crom. Power magic practitioner. The Skull Swords, group of three, they operate as a group to a maximum size of three, cost of a group. Also, it's ten points, gets you all three models. So, 
the Skull Swords and Slough Rot equal 21 points in total, whereas Slain has 16 on his own. So Slain and Uko the Dwarf is the same as that Warbender. And then the Weird Stone is 5 points. I'm very interested to see how this all comes together and plays. And we have, let's just have a look. I like that they're color coordinated. So these are the earth magic, seems to be half of them. And then sour magic. Action one cost three. Get to bring in some tribe warriors. Very interesting to see how these work for head harvest. Fullness of corpses. Gotta be honest with you. This is going to be very much a learning curve. But these pictures are crazy. Look at it rotting and insane. Then we have some unique feats, which I guess are for your heroes. Warp out. That sounds like a slain one, plus one to fight. Deathless. That's for Fleg. Silver Sword. Oh, there you go. It's for King Ruddage. King Gain. King Baylor. Ooh, Elfric is mentioned here. So he must be a character at some point. That's the Deadly Gaze. That's going to be fun. Then we have the more traditional feet cards. So some are yellow. And some are blue. Oh, so alignment, moon, sun. So that obviously, if it's daytime or nighttime, seems to play a part in the game. Then we have the building, the rest of precision. Great company. I absolutely love them. Uh, oh, look, you can do thatch roofs. Shows you how to do the different types. So that's interesting. Have to take my time doing that one. And got some books and some tokens now. Let's just empty this out. Tokens. Right, we have special oh, spoiled terrain tokens. These top ones. We have blood point tokens. Sun ascendant. Moon. So these are to do with the moons. We have some hex tokens. And we have the worm of crom. Ooh, you know what? I gotta do it. You can't give me. A monster. I'm not expecting to build it. I feel like I'm playing Warhammer 40k second edition with, with the Orc Dreadnought. Oh, it's amazing. Look at it. Blaine, kiss my ass. This contains three scenarios that will allow us to start playing the game. Game one, Treasure of Crom. That's like these guys are heavily outmatched according to the point. And then the second one. Beautiful artwork. And then the third one. I assume it just slowly teaches you everything. This is nice. I wish the other games had come with something like this. And then the beautiful rule book. Warlord, do you know how to make a rule book? Get out of the way, wormy. Great piece of artwork. In the inside cover there. So we get introduction, guide to his world, the core rules, cosmic battle rules, the war bands, campaigns, scenario, and the appendix. I think if you've ever owned a Warlord game book, you'll know they make a nice rule book. Baylor. Ooh, stuff about terrain. Looks like we're going to get some crossbowmen. Let's see if we got some of the war bands. Here we, here we go. I really can't talk. 
obviously slain. Cool nest. A druid. Oh, that's the guy we saw on the edge of the box. Slain's wife. Champions of the Earth tribe. Few characters by the looks of things. And then some warriors. Oh. Beautiful double page spread. The drones. A couple of characters that I know nothing about. Skull swords. Weirdstone. The half dead. Elfric. The elf women. They're kind of like uh, creatures from another dimension. Doom, doom, doom. And the sea demons, which I'm pretty excited for. Rules for beasts of the forest. Wow. Creating your own characters. That's great. A couple of scenarios. I'm very excited for this. My very finishing piece on the back here. So yeah, that's a quick overview. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you all like, subscribe, and we'll start painting up and start playing some games. So it looks like I need the dwarf slain and these three guys painted first. To do scenario one, so they're going to be my priority, along with the weird stone. So yeah, check back in soon. Cheers for listening.